Hey you guys, it's Rainbow here, and welcome to the very first round of our Next Top Artist Contest. I am so excited to start up all of this. Um, really, I thank you all for entering, posting your beautiful entries. I love them all, they were awesome. Today, um, I guess you wouldn't count this a very official round because I'm not going to be doing eliminations for about the next three rounds. After the next three rounds, we'll really get into this with eliminations and all that. I'm giving you three rounds without any eliminations because I want you to get the hang of this first so that then we can really get into the serious stuff. So yeah. But today, I'm going to be giving you an introduction on how this is going to go, what to do, what's going to happen, and all that stuff. But I'm also going to be judging your drawings and even telling you who I would eliminate in this case. So, yeah. So, let's get started with the really important stuff that you guys need to know. So, we're going to keep going through some, you know, elimination rounds and such and all that until we have only three contestants. Now, these last few rounds that have the last three contestants, or the top three as I would call them, are the final rounds. So, when you are in the, if you are in the top three and you get to the final rounds, you can't use any skips. You have to make each drawing or picture, or else you will be automatically booted out. So, yeah. Unless if you have a valid excuse, but that's different. Anywho, as usual, out of these top three, I will choose a winner, the winner is the winner, whatever, and cycle one ends, and then I'll do another two cycles. But, under one condition, and that is that if you were in the top three for any of those, for, for this cycle, then you can't enter in cycle two or cycle three. Same thing goes for cycle two, so the top three of cycle two, they can't go into cycle three, and the top three of cycle three, well, there is no cycle four, so. Well, actually, there is kind of a cycle four, which I'm gonna explain now. So then, in total, um, there are a top three in every cycle. I'm gonna do three cycles. So in total, we have nine people. And these nine people, are getting me invited for the very final cycle in which I will choose a grand winner. The grand winner is kind of like the top, top, top artist of the whole generation. Now, three cycles equals a generation, so that's how I do it. I might do several generations for all I know, but that's how we're gonna do it. Sounds pretty fun, right? I think it does. So, yeah, then that's how we're going to do it. Now, we're going to judge your entries. So, um, I'm just going to say your username and what I think about your drawing, what you could improve on, um, what I think you did good on. This stuff isn't to make you feel bad. It's so you can do better every time. So, yeah. All I'm saying here is that not to take my advice the wrong way. I'm only trying to help you. So let's get started. So you guys, um, all entries can be found on the place on my channel named Art NTM Entries. There you can find all the auditions, etc. Whatever. So first victim we have today is MV Volume of 07. I believe that's how you say it. I'm sorry if I said it wrong, but what ifs? <laughs> um, your entry. I thought it was awesome. I loved how you did the pirate theme like sort of thing along with the summer theme. It suited the summer theme very well. I liked it. Um, the drawing itself was very detailed, creative. I liked your model. Overall, I thought it was great, but maybe next time to make the color a little brighter and like the drawing itself a little more colorful and the, the colors richer, maybe you can use marker to color it in. I know that makes the coloring a lot better and brighter. That is all I have to say. I thought it was great, so yeah. Next, we have Little Paws. I love the username, Little Paws. It just makes me think of Paws. 
Your entry, um, I really liked your model, Yoshi. You couldn't have done it better. Um, that was pretty awesome. You drew very well. I liked it. You did some very good coloring, even though the background was a little plain, but that's okay. But the really, really, really big problem in here is you did ice skating, and the theme was summer. <laughs> um, I don't, unless it was like, I don't know, hockey on grass, which I've never seen before. Um, I believe they're playing ice hockey. I mean, they're in sweaters, so, um, yeah. That's a pretty big, what I like to call, point deduction. I mean, next time, just please stick to the theme, or at least watch the whole video. And I don't care if you write down the theme on your hand, just follow the theme, because that's what could get you kicked out of this contest. So, yeah. Overall, good job, except for the sweaters. Next, I have another user, typical LPS, and I liked your model. It was very cute. I liked how well you drew her. It was very colorful. The sunglasses were a nice touch, too. But again, another big problem is that you kind of didn't involve the theme in there. It's not that you didn't follow the theme, it's just that you really didn't put it in there. I guess you could count in the glasses. I mean, I guess we wear sunglasses during the summer. But I wish you could have added some background to like, show that she was doing something in the summer. So, yeah. Next, I have LPS Kins Girl 92 I believe that's how you say her name. But I'm not too sure. Again, I'm sorry. But I really liked how you did two entries. They were both very colorful, interesting, awesome. They looked great. And you did follow the theme in one of them. They were in Hawaii. And lots of people go to Hawaii in the summer. I mean, obviously, it's like a vacation island. But I thought it looked great. Um, just wondering, who is your model? Is the alien cat your model or like the chihuahua girl your model? I'm not very sure, but overall, I thought it was great. Very good. Beautiful. Yes, beautiful. <laughs> so, yeah. Next, I have LPS Girls 727, I believe it was, or 272, I don't know. I believe it was 727. But I think you did great, just like everybody else. You followed the theme, you did very well, you colored it well, creative, um, very good. It met all expectations. I thought it was great. And, um,. I forgot who your model was. I'm gonna have to watch the video again, but if you didn't say who your model was, please tell me now. Um, but yeah, I thought you did awesome. Nothing bad to say about it. So, my last contestant here is LPS Mimi Studios. I got your entry through email, that is okay, because I allowed it. And it was a very pretty picture. You did a nice background. And it was a very cute cat, the ice cream cone. You stuck to the theme, you chose a model, you followed all the rules except for one major deal breaker. You did it digitally. In the video, I said you cannot draw digitally, which means no digital. Like, you can't do it on your iPad or anything. You can't. It's in order for the whole contest to be fair because we paper and pencil people are just stuck with colored pencils and no Photoshop. So, yeah, um, that was a major deal breaker, so that's the only thing I have to say. Nothing else, it was very good, so yeah. So, you guys, if you didn't turn on your entries, I already told you about it. You'll have to answer me in a week or else you'll be disqualified. Next theme is back to school. If you watch this whole video, put in the comment section, hashtag, um, NTA, and of course, your next drawing, again, theme is back to school, is due August 4th. That is two whole weeks from now. So I hope to see your entries and bye!